Welcome to Module 5, where we'll dive into networking considerations within VMware Cloud on AWS. Before we delve into networking details, it's crucial to grasp the distinction between overlay and underlay networking. Underlay Network This foundation is built upon AWS VPC, Virtual Private Cloud, infrastructure. It forms the physical backbone that supports your VMware cloud on AWS environment. Overlay Network NSX virtual networks are constructed atop this foundation. They provide the virtualized, software-defined networking layer that facilitates communication between your virtual machines and services. Understanding this separation helps us optimize both the physical underlay and the virtual overlay for a robust and high-performing network environment. In our network architecture, we have two crucial tiers of gateways slash routers. Tier 0 Gateway This serves as the entry slash exit point for the entire overlay network. It handles north slash south traffic, managing communication between the overlay networks and external networks. Tier 1 Gateways Tier 1 gateways are the backbone for all overlay networks. Whether they're management subnets or data subnets, Tier 1 gateways facilitate internetwork communication within the VMware cloud on AWS environment. These gateways play a pivotal role in ensuring efficient and controlled data flow, both internally and externally. Our Tier 0 router, hosted as an NSX Edge appliance within the SDDC cluster, plays a central role in our network architecture. All traffic between on-premises networks and the SDDC flows through this appliance, serving as a pivotal hub for communication. Additionally, the Tier 0 router can be used for terminating VPN connections, ensuring secure connectivity between on-premises environments and the SDDC. This versatile appliance ensures seamless and secure data flow, making it a critical component of our network infrastructure. Within our network structure, a series of Tier 1 routers serve distinct roles. Management Gateway This Tier 1 router, powered by an NSX Edge firewall, handles north-slash-south network connectivity specifically for management VLANs. It facilitates secure communication for management appliances like the vCenter server and NSX Manager. Compute Gateways these Tier 1 routers, also equipped with NSX Edge firewalls, play a vital role in providing north-slash-south network connectivity for data subnets and VLANs, ensuring efficient data flow for compute workloads. These specialized gateways enhance security and control for both management and data traffic, ensuring that our network meets the unique demands of different network segments. In this comprehensive network architecture diagram, we bring together all the key concepts we've discussed. This all-encompassing diagram visually illustrates how these components work together harmoniously, optimizing network functionality, security, and data flow within VMware Cloud on AWS. In our VMware Cloud on AWS environment, establishing external connectivity is a crucial aspect. Within the SDDC VPC, the Internet Gateway provides a direct connection to the public Internet, facilitating external access for various purposes. For hybrid connectivity with an on-premises data center, you can set up IPsec tunnels over the Internet or leverage AWS Direct Connect, ensuring secure and reliable communication using AWS Virtual Private Gateway. When you need to connect to another AWS account to utilize native AWS services, Elastic Network Interfaces, ENIs, can be extended to the SDDC VPC, enabling seamless integration. These connectivity options open doors to versatile networking scenarios, ensuring that your VMware cloud on AWS environment can communicate with the external world as needed. 
This slide illustrates the connectivity between your on-premises data center and the SDDC within VMware Cloud on AWS. It's a visual representation of the architectural diagram we've explored, emphasizing the seamless communication enabled through various connectivity options. And the final piece of our networking puzzle, we establish connectivity between a customer's AWS VPC and the SDDC within VMware Cloud on AWS. The process begins by selecting a specific VPC from the customer's AWS account. Within this chosen VPC, a specific subnet is designated. Elastic Network Interfaces, ENIs, are then created within this subnet, with one ENI allocated per SDDC host. This configuration ensures a direct and dedicated link between the customer's AWS resources and the SDDC, facilitating seamless data exchange and integration with native AWS services. Initially, only one ENI connection is active, linked to the host hosting the NSX Edge appliance. In the event of host failure, the NSX Edge appliance seamlessly migrates to another host within the cluster. Simultaneously, the ENI connection for the new host is automatically activated. This dynamic failover mechanism ensures uninterrupted connectivity, maintaining a robust and resilient network environment even in the face of host failures. As we wrap up this module on networking considerations, we've explored the intricate network architecture that underpins VMware Cloud on AWS. From overlay and underlay networks to Tier 0 and Tier 1 gateways, we've laid the foundation for a robust, secure, and high-performing network environment. In the next module, we will delve into migration options, exploring how you can seamlessly transition your workloads and data into VMware Cloud on AWS.